guys, today we're going to make a layered paper snowflake. So we need some things to trace at our circle. So I've got a measuring cup and a bowl and a plate and a pencil, some scissors, a glue stick, and I've got some colored paper that I can use for my circles. And then I just need one more paper for the background. I like black, but any color works. Then the first thing I need to do is trace each of my circles and get them cut out. So real quick, but all you do is trace them and cut them out. Then to make one snowflake, I'm going to take one of my circles and fold it in half. And then I'm going to pretend this is like half of a pie and I want to cut it into thirds. So in order to do that, sometimes it's easier if we can see before we fold. So I'm just going to roughly draw two lines that break this half of a pie into three pie pieces. And I'm just eyeballing it, it's just close. Then I'm going to take one side of the pie and fold it up toward the middle. So I'm going to fold it on the line that I just drew. So that the rounded edges match. And I can just crease that. Now instead of folding the other side up and over the front, that would make it really thick, a really thick fold. So I'm just going to fold it backwards. Same thing, just backwards on the line or pretty close to it. And it's okay if it's not perfect, perfect. It'll still work. I just wanna make it a pie piece shape. Now I can cut a piece or two out of each side. What I cannot do is cut off an entire side. All I can do is cut pieces out. So I'm gonna add a couple shapes and sometimes again, it's easier to see before we cut. So we'll draw them first. I'm just gonna add a couple shapes on each side, but I'm not gonna cut off an entire side. If I cut off an entire side, the whole thing's gonna fall apart. So I have to leave some of each edge there so I can just cut pieces out. It's much easier to cut edge, or I'm sorry, shapes that have straight edges than it is to cut shapes that have rounded edges because this paper is pretty thick. It's six layers thick now because of all the folding that we did. So straight things are easier than round things. And then we're just going to cut it out real quick. All right. And then when you open it all up, as long as you didn't cut off a whole edge, you should have your intact finished paper snowflake. So your biggest one, which is what this one is, that will be layer one. So we'll just set that aside. And then we'll fast forward and do the other two exactly the same way. If you need to review how to do it, then you can just go back to the first couple steps on the video. You can just rewind. Now I've done these many times, so I didn't draw my shapes again, but you can draw your shapes on each one. I just made it up as I went. And then we're going to open them all up. And then we want to figure out how we want to lay them out together. Now we're trying to get radial symmetry. Snowflakes have radial symmetry, meaning this, they're the same the, the whole way around. So as long as you line up your fold lines, your creases that are in your snowflakes, and you get them centered on one another with those fold lines lined up, you'll have radial symmetry. So I've got them lined up. Now I just want to glue them down. So I'm going to start with the biggest layer, cover it with glue, stick it down. Now I like to stick it and then flip it over in between each layer and rub a little bit on the back that just helps secure it. All right, there you go. I hope you have fun.